All right, boys and girls. So today we're gonna pretend we are in the rainforest drawing this awesome tree frog. Now, when we do this, we're gonna look at some of the shading. I'm gonna be using colored pencils. I'm gonna draw. In this case, I'm gonna draw a marker, but you guys, of course, should always be drawing in pencil first. And then we'll talk about the different shading of the colors on the frog. Notice how it goes blue and orange and all those beautiful colors. All right, let's get started with our frog. Okay, to start, we're going to work on the frog's eyes as a first step. So, you're gonna think, you're gonna have the branch coming down here, just a little bit, so if you wanna make a small straight line, you can do that. Actually, you know what, we're not gonna start with the eye, we're gonna start with the hand on this one, just to help us give some shape. So I have the one part of the branch there, the other one coming down here. You're going to start with a curved line. That's gonna be the top of his fingers. These frogs have four fingers coming down, so I'm gonna make lines, like a V, a V, a V, and that just separated it into four fingers. At the end of each finger, they have like little circles. That's their little grippy areas. So we're keeping it pretty simple with those grippy areas. If you can, you can make those fingers even a little bit thinner by bringing the line in. Okay, his head is gonna come off of this arm. So from this arm, we're gonna make a slight curve. That's gonna be one cheek. On the other side, give yourself a little bit of space. We're gonna make another curve. That's gonna be the other cheek that's coming out. From here, his eyes are actually above there. So you're gonna make these narrow ovals. See how I did that? Narrow ovals, that's gonna be his two eyes. And they're kind of on the side of his head as we saw in the picture. And he's got these narrow black pupils. Narrow black pupil, kind of to a point at the top and the bottom. All right, over his head, or over each eye, I should say, you're gonna make two curves. And then they come together with a line in the middle. See how I did that? All right, that's our frog's eyes. You're gonna do, in between his eyes, you're gonna do two diagonal tiny lines. Those are the lines for his nostrils. And then under his eyes, you're gonna, and curving up to the nostrils, you're gonna make that long, big smile. Now we did the one hand going over here, so now we have to make the other one. But the other one's got an elbow, so we're gonna make a curve like that. Okay, another one that matches it with his narrow little arms. And then his hand's gonna come over here and it's gonna be holding the branch. So you're gonna make a curve that's like his little elbow area. And we're gonna do one finger and then that V that we talked about. All right. See how I did that? And then you could do those fingers. One, two, three, sorry. I didn't do this one very well, but there's four. There's the other little finger coming out on that side. That's why it's so important we use an eraser. Okay, here I can continue the branch because now we have that other arm drawn. And I'm gonna go down just a little more. There, his little leg is gonna be bent up. Actually, sorry, we're gonna make a line here for his body. You can kind of put that together now. And then his little leg is gonna be bent up behind him, behind this elbow. So you're gonna make a long curve going up and in from his elbow. See how I did that? We're gonna make another line for the inside of his leg. And then you can make one coming down like that. See how he looks like his knees coming through over there? And then his foot, is actually kind of come off of here with a curve. Ignore my line here, I wish I had an eraser right now. And the same idea with those little Vs. One, two, three little Vs, and then we can make 
his toes with those circles coming off like that. See how his foot is kind of propped up? And then the branch is gonna continue all the way down. All right, we need to show the other knee coming around now. So you're gonna do, you're gonna continue this branch until you get right before this hand. Actually, now let's go down. All the way even with the bottom of the hand, this branch is gonna go down and his knee, his knee is gonna come up in a big bump all the way over and down until you get even with this branch and then we're gonna have his foot come. So the inside of his leg here and then just like the other ones, and you might have gotten the hang of it by now, we do a V, three Vs, and then you can do his toes with a circle coming up. My little circles might be more exaggerated than the actual frog, but that's okay. It's kind of a cartoon version. See how now it looks like his legs are wrapping around the branch? If it's too much of a challenge, you could just work on that top half of the frog. You don't have to do this other piece coming down. And I make a line right there. Pretty cool, right? All right, now we're ready to look at coloring him. I think he came out nice so far. With the colors of our frog, let's look at that original one. He's got some bright orange eyes and orange, what do you want? I don't know, do we call them paws? I'm not really sure what to call them. So I'm gonna use this nice bright orange color around his eyes. I just, his hands and feet, I guess. And around his hands and feet, just at the tip. It doesn't even look like the whole hand or foot is this orange color, just at the tip, just at the ends. I'll blend that upward later. Going as quick as I can. If you guys need to go back, you can. You can always come back. Rewind the video, go back as you need to. All right, good. Now I'm gonna do some blue. I have this pretty bright blue. The blue is just gonna be on the edges. It's gonna be on like the inside edges of the arms. You can blend it into the top of the head there. If you wanna put some blue at the top of this hand, you can. We're just gonna do it in more like that, just on the inside. Seems like the blue kind of clings to the inside of his body. Like that, see how I did that? Kind of towards, I'm gonna put it on the top of the feet. I like how that looks. All these frogs seem to be different colors, but I'm gonna continue that and just put a little bit at the top of the foot. All right, he's got a bright green on the rest of his body except for the middle, which is kind of tan. So it's green up top. And on the edge here, his whole middle of his body is kind of like a cream. So I'm actually gonna leave this area here. If you have a cream, that's perfect. But otherwise I'm doing green, green on the legs. Green here. Look how awesome he's looking so far. And then, I'm not even sure if this is really a branch or like a piece of grass. No, that's not even dark enough. So I wanna get a really dark green. Here's, here's a, it's kind of a blue green. That works though. I mean, it's too blue, sorry. Oh, there we go. Nice dark green to do that blade of grass around him. And I think our truth frog is looking pretty cool right now. If you'd rather make this a branch, you can do it brown, however you wanna do that. I like him. You guys, remember, did anybody see the movie Rio? They have that little dart, poison dart tree frog. He was kinda of cute. Maybe it was a girl. Is there a girl in the movie? That was a good one. All right, I wanna to try to blend this mixture of colors I did. And my picture 
is finished. Just finish this little area in between the toes. And we're good. If you want to come back, I'm going to kind of add some light green to it. Give it a little more dimension texture. You can do that too. And that looks good. All right, boys and girls, thanks for joining me today.